How do folks? This is the old mountain man talking at you from the back side of this here lake in the hills of Arkansas. Well, I got to thinking earlier this morning about uh, a couple things about fire building. Some people might want to get or might need to get a fire going real quick. And we all know about the whole uh, steel, wool, and battery thing. But uh, I tried that with this little cheap steel wool crap that I got from, uh, that was the, it was like 12 pack steel wool thing from like the Dollar Tree. I thought I was really getting some, some good stuff. Got my 9 volt battery and, and all that. And battery was all good. Just didn't work. Not with this here, not with this real fine steel wool. I don't know what the heck it was. I tried raveling it out. I tried everything I could to get it going. Well, you might have probably noticed a little bottle in my hand. Now, here's another little bottle from Loud Wolf Limited on eBay. And that is potassium permanganate. And, uh, what is potassium permanganate? Well, it's used by the British SAS. It's used by um, in uh, field medicine to cleanse wounds. If it's diluted down to a uh, pinkish solution, it can be used to purify water. If it's in a very, very light pink solution. Um, I think a wound wash would be like 100 milligrams per liter of water. And as you can see, got my chow hound back here. And he's probably thinking I'm under the impression I'm going to start a cook fire. <laughs> it's cold out here. But anyway, potassium permanganate, glycerin, and steel wool. Y'all watch this. <laughs> I, I want it back here because I sure don't want to what I'm going to do I'm going to take this little dab right here in this corner and I'm going to empty all of it down into this little cone shaped hole in that steel wool there See yeah. Just wait till you see what this stuff does. Well, it started to go through. Dang it. Oh, isn't that something? I didn't know that dang hole was gonna was all the way through. I'm going to have to pinch that up. Alright. Ah. Dang it. I don't even know yet what this dang thing is going to do now. I'm going to have to go inside and get some more potassium permanganate. Alright, be back. Alright. Let's see here. Just a little lid off here and just thump out. Let's see here. Just a not even a cap full, just a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Now I don't want to stand close to that mess. 
Now I'll bring the laptop right over here. Try to get it up here where it ain't gonna fall over. Then down there. Come on, that coming. So much trash on there. Alright, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, about thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, about fifteen drops. And wait a few seconds. There it goes. And there you got yourself a flaming ball of steel wool that is a big old ember. I had to look at the screen to make sure that was showing up real good. And if you can't get a fire going with that, well then, I'm afraid you're going to freeze to death, starve to death, or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah, it's, it's got hot coal going down there. Right down there in the core. And, uh, if you Still having trouble? Well, let's see. Let's see what we can do. You can just add more permanganate to that hot mixture. That or the not hot mixture, but that that hot uh, coal, and it'll flame back up. You see that top edge there heating up real good? Yeah, buddy. Just pour some more on there. Pour some more on there. Mm. It'll just keep right on burning. Hell, let's see. Yeah, it's putting off a little heat. Yeah. Anyway, there's uh, going to be a link down there in the video description to uh, Loud Wolf Limited on eBay. So y'all can go get your own potassium permanganate. <coughs> and you can, you can check it out. I bought, uh, hell, I bought two pounds of potassium permanganate from Loud Wolf Limited. It was something like 33, 34 bucks, but I thought, you know, why the heck not just stock up and have it on hand just in case. You know, what the hell's going with my mustache? Yeah, I'm sitting in there thinking and you know, I'm doing this number. Said, what can I come up with for a video? And I started messing around with this whole idea of that potassium permanganate and then two or three other ideas just kind of merged into one and I tried it about 5 a.m. this morning and man, whenever you see it in the dark, it's a whole other thing. That was pretty awesome. That thing went up. I said, I just got to show this to the folks on YouTube and you know, if anybody out there uses this idea, would you give credit where credit's due? 
say where you got the damn idea instead of trying to claim it as your own or just by say just by not saying where you got the idea from yeah i think it's time to change things here on youtube i've seen too much of that crap here in the past two three years people taking each other's information and just slinging it all over the damn place saying you know behaving as if it's their own i seen someone out there making char cloth in an outdoors tent at night rolling it up you know and that was two of my video two <clears throat> parts of a video that i had let's see two different videos i got up where i've rolled up jeans and put them in a tin and i was also cooking char cloth at night which the uh, was uh, on jayhawk usmc's first fire steel order so here i'm back in the house and the picture went all grainy and screwed up but it's cold out there and it's warm in here and i got a movie on this other computer over here city of the living dead i'm gonna yeah, see what that's about but at any rate folks y'all have a good day i'm gonna upload this for your morning viewing uh, it'll be uploaded in the morning y'all might watch it sometime later and if you hear something uh, grinding over here that's my heater well Y'all take care. Let's see where's that damn stop button? Oh, there it is. Y'all take care. Stay warm. Be good. And remember, when somebody else comes up with an idea that you like, don't just take what they got and uh, not give credit where credit's due. That's all part of having honesty and integrity. And we, and we know that that's very important in this day and age of people wanting to lie, cheat, and steal. Now, I had some Nimrod comment here a while back that he made a whole lot of money off of the, the deer antler fire steel idea, deer antler handle fire steel idea. I guess he didn't know that that existed long before I was, long before I used it. There was a whole bunch of other people that used it. And I don't know who originated the idea. So I couldn't give credit where credit was due. I was just, you know, going along with everybody else. And he seen my little brass shell casing idea and he said, Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to use that and make a whole bunch of money. You going to give credit where credit's due? Probably not. You're that kind, ain't you? You old mixed breed dog. I'll talk with you all later for my subscribers that really care. Uh, Y'all take care. Be good. And uh, I don't know what else to say, so I'm going to get off here with adios for now. I'll be back later.